Okay guys, today we're going to be taking a look at some top Amazon survival knife picks. Now, I will say this as a quick disclaimer before we talk about Amazon survival knives. I do want to say that uh, there are many other good options out there, whether it be DLT Trading, Blade HQ, Knife Center, Knives Ship Free, and many, many more, and including local knife stores, even like ones up here in Alaska, like Northern Knives. So if at all possible, always try to support the knife companies above Amazon because these guys are the ones really fighting for our knife rights which kind of may sound silly we usually talk about gun rights knife rights are equally as important and often not talked about so do bear that in mind whenever going to purchase your next or your new survival knife try to support the the local guys and the people that actually do care about your knife rights and knives as a whole not only will it be a better experience but it really will uh it really helps the community as a whole. That being said, unarguably, like in many other facets, Amazon really does have some great deals on knives, which we're gonna talk about here in just a second. But uh, yeah, so it is very tempting to buy knives off Amazon. And if you are going to buy knives, survival knives off of Amazon, I made a nice little list talking about some of the knives that you might want to choose or might not want to choose. So without any further ado, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, check out the Instagram if you want more behind the scenes of Alaskan Frontier 1. Okay, now let's jump into it. Okay, so the first one on the list, and this was actually going to be my second. These are all kind of in price, so as they get more expensive. Uh, so this one was actually going to be number two, but it is actually in number one because of, once again, an Amazon deal that uh, the Mora Garberg or the Mora Garberg in stainless, this one is in particular, but the carbon and stainless versions of the Garberg right now or for a reasonably limited time are actually around 66 for the carbon and 68 for the stainless. And so they are really, really affordable knives. And of course, the Mora Garberg has an excellent track record on so many comparison videos with the Mora Garberg versus other knives, sometimes much more expensive. And the Garberg is really a fantastic blade. I don't show it off as much on the channel because I have in the past done so much content with the Garberg so I don't really show it too much but it is still a fantastic tool and of course readily available on Amazon and for right now you can get them for around 60 ish dollars I will have a link in the description below uh, to this one and so you can check out that deal and hopefully get in on it it might change it will probably change you know in the next few months but getting a Mora Garberg for under you know 70 dollars is really hard to beat, uh, especially with the fantastic build quality. And in fact, uh, the car whether you go with the carbon or the stainless, you will be happy uh, with either one. So really fantastic full tang blade and really just a solid proven design. Okay, the next one is going to be the Gerber Prodigy. Now this one is serrated because I wanted to test this one as a serrated blade, but ultimately you can also find these in fine edges. Now the Gerber lineup is not my favorite, but I do want to show some niceness and I do actually want to say that the Prodigy is a pretty well designed blade, even though the LMF2 kind of sucks and this is basically its little brother, but the Prodigy has some very good redeeming qualities, especially the plain edge version. It is full tang in a Essentially, this is the predecessor to the strong arm, but for me, I will say, at least personally, I think the ergonomics on the Prodigy are far more squared away. And while the 420HC blade, the semi stainless steel, is not my favorite, it is a pretty tough blade. And if you do find one for a good price, you can usually so you can usually pick these up for around fifty to sixty dollars. Uh, and they're not too shabby. They're pretty pretty solid pretty solidly built blades. Sometimes they do run a little bit higher, pushing into the $80 range, but they are okay if you know what you're getting into and you do like Gerber. Now the next one up on the list is the K-Bar BK-18. I would also include the BK-16, I just don't have it here to show, but the BK-18 and 16. The 16 is probably a little bit more survival oriented, whereas the 18 is still very survival capable, but a little bit more tactical with its harpoon shaped blade. I just really like the way that it is styled, but the handles on the 18 and the 16 are exactly the same. So basically from here back is the same regardless to the blade shape, but either one of them they offer really great value for a 1095 cv steel or 
chromium, vanadium, chrovan steel, and it is a really pretty solid blade. Some people give a lot of K-Bar crap because of their original kind of fighting utility blade is not the strongest, but do bear in mind that while they may use the same steel, this is a different blade. It is truly full tang. It's not a rat tail tang, and uh, they are very comfortable. The handles are also replaceable if you ever want to upgrade them. You could also throw grip tape on them though, and I have got some comments about it, you know, like how to increase the traction on them. For me, especially with gloves, I don't really find the traction that bad, but if you do, you can throw grip tape on them. You could obviously replace them with micarta options. There are aftermarket uh, options available for the BK18 and 16, respectively. So another fantastic option and under $100. So those three blades, the Prodigy, the Mora, Garberg, and the K-Bar BK-18 are all under $100, pretty comfortably too. I mean, you can find each one of them for around 80 or under, uh, and that's pretty solid, and they're all pretty fairly solid blades. Now they are on the smaller side, but I think a lot of people especially lean towards smaller knives for their carryability. So I wanted to have some good options here for knives that were one on the budget side, budget friendly, but were also pretty reasonably sized. They're kind of not too small, not too large. Uh, other good knives, if you are looking for blades that are in the same price category, are going to be your Cold Steel uh, SRK and, of course, the Rat 7 or Rat 5. They're going to be around the same price range, but they are a little bit bigger. So, now moving over to some of the some larger knives and some of what I get into or would consider right and proper survival knives. So like I said, the other ones are a little small for my tastes, but the SE6 is the first one on the list and it comes in at around $120 to $110, so it's just over $100, still fairly reasonable, but uh, super, super comfortable. And the SE6 has an amazing track record for being a survival and general purpose wilderness blade. And overall, it is just a fantastic knife. I I really do love how comfortable the handle is on these guys and uh, they are super super comfy to use they are very well balanced and the best thing about SE is that they are knives really designed by survivalists for survivalists next one of course on the list is going to be the Falkneven A1 now the Falkneven A1 is definitely on the more expensive side they are approaching $200 I think when I picked mine up it was like $171 they are not cheap and they seem to definitely not be going down in price but the Falkneven A1 does bring a lot to bear they are really pretty if you like them and you like their style, they are very different. They are not like your typical survival knife because they do have a very, very thick stock of steel. They are also laminated VG10 and they are also convex ground. So they do perform a little bit differently when cutting through things, but if you like the convex grind, if you like the stainlessness, or if you need stainlessness, uh, this is probably one of the best options. And that's why I really wanted to throw it on the list not to, you know, flex an expensive knife or say that this is the best expensive knife. But when it comes down to it, you know, when you start wanting a larger, more full-size, capable, stainless option, this is probably one of the best blades under $200. And that's what I think a lot of people don't uh, understand or maybe misinterpret, maybe misunderstand about the Falkneven is there are a lot of decent, you know, uh, high carbon survival blades for under $150. But when you really start looking at high quality stainless options, the prices do jump quite a bit. And that is because stainless steel options as a whole are just harder to bring to market. I mean, like my Chris Reeve Knives Pacific, it is, you know, around a $400, $350 to $400 knife because it's stainless steel. It's made out of CPM S35VN in a thick, big, or large slab of it. So when you have these really high quality steels or stainless steels, it starts to make the price go way up. And so that is the biggest thing that the A1 does bring to bear though, is its stainlessness. And like I said, it's made out of a pretty thick slab of its laminated VG10, so it is quite durable. Of course, it is full tang. And the best thing I do like about the original A1, it is a fully rubberized handle, so in the cold or inclement weather, you are not coming into contact with any portion of steel, and that is very handy. 
handy for, like I said, cold and eclipse weather survival. So hopefully you enjoy this kind of look over a nice selection of knives that are readily and pretty easily accessible on Amazon. Hopefully you guys see this video in time to snag the excellent deal on the Mora Garberg. It is really good uh, for that price. They usually, just so people know, usually go for about $85 to $90. So getting one for $60 to $60 or $66 to $68 is really pretty darn good. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.